How to add a video to a website. Subscription website. In this video, I will show two methods on how to add a video to your website, where people will not be able to download, steal, or link to your videos and steal your bandwidth. Plus, this is the first step in creating a video subscription website. But first I will talk about subscription website builders service and subscriptions website plugins. Promoting my work. This section is about 2 minutes long. You can skip this section. The next section is the start of the video. This video is in the English language. I have to promote or advertise my work. Plus, some of my other videos might be helpful. My other videos include the following, and these videos are in the English language. I have to state what language the videos are in because YouTube uses the information in the video, more than the titles or descriptions, to know who it should show the videos to. All of these videos are in English. If you look at the top, you should see a little white circle. If you click on the circle, it should give you a list of my other videos that are in the English language. These are only a few of my videos. Video number 1. Free website hosting on Google. For my video subscription website, I pay 29 cents a month for website hosting on Google. Video number 2. Final Cut Pro for people who know 100% nothing. I design this video so that people can easily understand Final Cut Pro, and can create and publish videos today. Video number 3. GarageBand for people who know 100% nothing about music. I design this video for people who cannot play a musical instrument cannot sing, and do not know anything about music can create music today. Video number 4. How to translate a video into different languages. I translate my most popular videos into 12 languages. I show how I translate 2 to 4 videos in one day into different languages. Video number 5. WordPress, how to start. This video is for people who are just starting, and feel overwhelmed. I show that all of this stuff is easy to learn. The hardest part is getting started. Video number 6. My strategy to make money on YouTube. This strategy will allow me to make money from almost every country in the world. Plus, I show why the rate of pay of a video, or CPM, is not based on the number of views of your channel or videos. Is not based on the number of subscribers your channel has. Is not based on the topic of your channel or video. Such as finance, travel, meditation, etc. and is not based on the popularity of your channel. Plus, I have another YouTube channel, and this channel has instructional videos on how to file for bankruptcy, and how to file for bankruptcy on student loans. Plus, it has a video on how to get free money for college, and this includes undergrad and grad school, how to get free money to buy a car, how to get free money to start a business, and much more. However, this is only for people who have a disability, including a learning disability. In the United States, this law is called the Rehabilitation Act. This is how I got my computer and software. I will put a link to this channel in the description below. If you want more detailed information, then go to my website. It is a subscription website, but it does have free information and links to other websites. Thus, my website might be very helpful. To change the language setting in WordPress, go to Settings and click General. Then click on Site Language. Now pick the language you want to create your website in. You can change WordPress to any language, such as Korean or Arabic. Subscription Website Builder Service You probably figured out that if you add a video to your website through the media library, Google Drive, Dropbox, 
etc., then this will allow people to download, steal, or link to your videos. Plus, many video subscription website builder service costs a lot of money. Such as Kajabi.com costs over $2,400 a year. WP Video Memberships cost $360 a year. Here is my website. I have over 10 videos, some are free and others you have to buy a subscription to view the videos and download the related documents. I paid 29 cents a month for hosting. $60 a year for video storage, and $15 a year for my domain name. This equals about $78 a year. Therefore, my video subscription website costs me $7 a month. Thus, if you know what you are doing, then you can create and run any kind of website almost for free. Subscription Website Plugins The subscription plugin I use is called Ultimate Membership Pro. Do not get it confused with the subscription plugin called Ultimate Member. Ultimate Membership Pro costs $50 for a lifetime. Thus, it has no additional monthly or yearly subscription costs. Plus, it is easy to work with and it gives you everything you need. Ultimate Member is a great plugin but it costs $250 a year. Plus, when you change the language settings in WordPress will also change the language settings in Ultimate Membership Pro. Ultimate Membership Pro has videos tutorials. I will leave a link to their video tutorials in the description below. The WooCommerce subscription plugin costs about $200 a year. Plus, every time you sell a subscription, they charge a service fee. Under the title of the video, click Show More, and then you will see all of the links. On the left side, if you click the little round button with a picture, will take you to the YouTube channel. Video Storage Service Do not serve your videos directly from your media library in WordPress. I have tried many plugins and I have not found a plugin that can truly protect your videos. It is best to use a video serving service or a video storage website. A video storage website will store your videos and serve the videos on your website with little bandwidth taken from your website. The best part is that they have security to protect your videos. I use a video storage website called Muse.ai. Muse used to be almost free, but now you have to pay $60 a year. Muse protects your videos from being downloaded and linked. I will put a link to Muse in the description below. This is the back end of Muse. As you can see, I have all of my videos stored here. The first thing you have to do is select the box at the top right side corner of a video. This will show controls at the bottom of the page. At the bottom of the page click the change visibility icon. In this window, select the second icon called unlisted. At the bottom of this window, select the configure video restrictions icon. In this window, you are telling Muse what website is allowed to show this video. If you leave it blank, then Muse will not show your video on yours or any website. Now type in the root name of your website, and as you see here, use the asterisk symbol. This tells Muse to show your video only on these websites, and any subdomain of these websites. Now, click the X at the top to close this window. At the bottom of this page click the icon called Share. Muse gives you different options to show your video. The standard option, which is the first option, will show the video with the video title, description, and transcript. The second option will show the video with no video title, no description, and no transcript. Select the second option. Then at the top select the last icon. This icon is the code icon. Now your video should pop up. On the right side, you have different options. The first option says to use iframe. iframe is the best option, but it only works with the pro version of many page builders. Thus, it will not work with the WordPress page builder. Plus, one of the methods I will show you how to do, is how to use the free version of the page builder called Elementor. 
Next, make sure all three controls have checked off. Especially, the second control called linkback is checked off. If linkback is checked on, then your video will not be protected. The link to your video will not be encoded or encrypted. Now click copy at the bottom. Now paste what you just copied to a Microsoft Word or a text editor. This code is the link to the video, and it also has the video player attached. And then click the X at the top to close this window. Now let go to the WordPress page builder and add this video to the website. Adding a video to a website. Method 1. The theme I am using is called Astra. The Astra theme is easy to use and has good security built into it. Yes, there are themes for video. Like the ones you see here, there are over 200 themes related to videos. However, for me, I found that the Astra theme works the best. Remember, there are hundreds of themes, and you might find one that is better than the Astra theme. First, let's create a new post. Remember pages work the same way, but posts are better for search engines and SEO. Give the page a title. Now click the plus icon. Then click Browse All at the bottom. Then go down and click the column block icon. Now click the two column block. Then click two columns. In the first column click the plus icon, and then go down and click the short code icon. Do not click the code icon. The code icon will not work for the video code we are using. Now paste in the code you got from the website Muse. Now let's preview what we just did. Go to the top and click preview, and go down and click preview a new tab. As you can see, the video is now part of this website page. In the second column click the plus icon, and then select the paragraph icon. Now add a sentence. Such as, My wife said I am crazy. However, she knew I was crazy before she married me. Therefore, she is crazier than I am. This is only a demonstration or practice, so it does not matter what you type. Next click the plus icon at the bottom, and select Heading. This part is important. Where it says H2, the H2 is a tag that tells search engines like Google what the page is about. Thus, H1 would be the main tag, and H2 would be the supporting titles or subtitles, etc. Most people like to put the titles at the top of a video, so click the Move to Top icon. Like you see here. Now, let's preview the work. Go to the top and click Preview, and go down and click Preview a new tab. Here is what I do not like about the WordPress page builder. I cannot change the margins or the spacing. I cannot make the video bigger or smaller. This is why many use a page builder. Adding a video to a website. Method 2. I am going to use the free page builder called Elementor. The free version can build your whole website. However, what I will show will work for almost every page builder. The Page Builder Elementor has video tutorials. I will put a link to these tutorials in the description below. The pro version of Elementor is amazing. It costs $50 a year. Here are four examples of what you can do with the pro version of Elementor. I will leave a link to these websites in the description below. For this website, as I move down the page, the color of the bag changes.
No explanation is needed here. They created a custom mouse cursor that displays different images of their work. They created a custom mouse cursor where a small dot is following a big dot. When there is something to click on, the dots change into a circle. Now, let's install and activate the page builder called Elementor. I am not going to go into detail on how to install a plugin because at this point you should know how to do this. The theme I am using is called Astra. The Astra theme is easy to use and has good security built into it. Now let's add a new post. Now go to the right side and set the preferences to format the post. First select template and then select element or full width. Now, I will select no category, and no tags. Discussion only applies if you have a comment section on the page. Then people can post comments. Most websites do not have a place where people can leave a comment, so I leave this off. Next, click Astra settings. Astra is the theme I am using. If you use a different theme, then this will change to the name of the theme you are using, and will have different controls. Every theme has its own set of controls. Next, I will select no sidebar, and full width stretched. Next, I will select a disabled primary header, disabled below header, disabled mobile header, disabled title. This tells WordPress that the page builder is in control of this post. At the top click where it says edit with Elementor. Now click on the plus icon, and then select one column. Now click in the column and then drag the heading widget into the column. WordPress calls these controls blocks, and Elementor and everyone else calls them widgets. Now give the heading a name. If this was the main heading, I would give it a tag of H1 and not H2. Now I will center the heading. Now click on the Style tab at the top. Go to Typography and click the Edit icon. Go down to the control called Decoration, and click Underline. Now click on the Text Color Control. As you can see the title is now underlined, and the color of the text is black. Most of these programs are easy to work with, the problem is finding where the controls are located. Now let's go to the Advanced tab at the top, and change the margins. As you can see, you can change all four margins at the same time, or each margin one at a time. I am going to increase the top margin. Now click on the plus icon, and then select two columns. Now click in the first column, and then drag the heading widget into the column. Now give the heading a name, and give it the tag of H2. I am going to delete the second column because search engines do not like widgets that do not have some kind of control in them. Now click the first column. Then go to the advanced tab. Now increase the left margin. Now click on the plus icon, and then select two columns. Now click in the first column and then drag the shortcode widget into the column. Now paste in the code you copied from Muse.
Then click Apply. Now on the top right of the video, click on the blue edit icon. Now on the left side, go to the Advanced tab. Now increase the left margin. Now let's review what we did. Go to the bottom and click the eye icon. Now let's add some text to the right side of the video. Click in the second column, and drag the text widget into the column. You can make the text have bullet points, bold, underline, etc. You can have the text be a link to another website or document. Highlight the text and then click the link icon, and paste in the link. Do not forget to click apply. Now let's review what we did. Go to the bottom and click the eye icon. As you can see, when I click on the link it takes me to another website. Or, the link can open any document such as a Microsoft Word document or a PDF document. Then people can download the document. To undo a change you made, go to the bottom and click the history icon. This will show a list of all the changes you made. If you select one of these items, then the top item will be removed or undone. If you like this video, then hit subscribe, so that YouTube will show it to more people.